live follow along martial arts class, we'll be strengthening, talking about easy martial arts grip training using the Thor's hammer. And the Thor's hammer is nothing more than a levered weight. And what that means is the weight's on one side and you're moving it with the other side. Now I'm gonna show you a lot of the exercises with this short sledgehammer, which is really a long sledgehammer that I cut. And then also I'm gonna show you some of the exercises you can do with the long sledgehammer. And this is a little bit heavier. That's 10 pounds. This is 12 pounds. You can also make your own levered weight using one of those old school barbells or uh, dumbbells. You know, the ones that have the screw on sides and they have the uh, weights. They look like this. You put that weight on this side and you'll just put one weight on and then you'll use the other side of the lever. Like it would look something like this. And then you have the lever on one side or the weight on one side. This is the long lever. And now you're doing all the same exercises to build that wicked strong grip strength that you need for grappling, for striking, for guarding. All martial arts skills use a strong grip and become better, hello, with a stronger grip. Now, if you don't have any of these things and you don't have a big sledgehammer or the smaller sledgehammer I'm gonna show you in a minute, then take a stick. This is how I started when I was a kid. I didn't have anything. I lived in a farm, rural community. And what I did was I found like things like old iron weights and things, parts of um, the, 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 the car, car parts, because we always had car parts everywhere. And you just tape them on. In this case, you can use water bottles. This is with water in it. I can take this and put sand in it. Now it's gonna weigh a little bit more sand in it and then a little bit of water it's gonna weigh a little bit more and then you put three or four of those on the end these are little kitty size water bottles because I got little kitties here um, but you can use the full size or anything else and then you just take some packing tape or duct tape and you wrap it now you've got your weight on one end and you can start to do all of these exercises that are gonna build your grip strength with your uh, own levered weight which is also known as the Thor's hammer. So I'm gonna show you from the start using the big sledgehammer first, because I want you to get your heart rate up, some exercises you can do. The first thing is I'm gonna have a good opposing grip, palm opposing, one hand in front, and then I'm just gonna hold it, just like you'd be carrying the flag at the parade. Actually, you'd probably carry it like this. It'd be stuck in there. But let's say you were stronger than that. You didn't need that little flag stand attached to your body. You're going to hold it out like this, like a flag. And just in front of your body, with your feet wide. See if i got enough room here. I'm just going to do squats. And I'm going to go really low. Squats up and down. And that's going to start to warm up your body, warm up your legs, give you power for that knockout punch. It's also going to build strength in your wrists as you keep this thing from falling down and smashing your head in. You just hold it out from here, down and up, down and up. And instead of doing sets for time, do, or instead of doing sets for numbers, like number 10 or number eight, number 12, go for 30 seconds on each exercise, rest for 30 seconds, and then change your grip. So that before this hand was on the bottom, now, Put this hand on the bottom and do a second set. You're gonna go down and up, down and up. So not only are you starting to strengthen your wrists and your grip, all those muscles in there that you need for great jujitsu, judo, grab hold of somebody, toss them across the room, guard, striking, you're not gonna roll your wrist with a really strong grip. You do those exercises with one side and the other side. The next thing that you can do is get a little bit more active, starting that first grip. And you just bring it back and forward. And you imagine that you're pounding a stake into the ground. So you're moving it and you're stopping from here to here. And what's gonna to start to happen is you're gonna build shorter power, core strength. Your legs are gonna get strong again for that knockout kick or punch. Again, we're working on a power grip. But these are all, I like to do these exercises first to warm up the whole body so I can stay safe from injury 
when I start to do the smaller mo movements, the smaller motions. I'm gonna show you those next. But these big ones, very important. From here, you can now change your grip to here. Start to slowly learn how to slide one down, slide the other one up, behind your back, in, switch, one, two, three. And I know a lot of people love to slam these things against tires, and that's awesome. That's a completely different workout, but that also is gonna build your strength, your hands and your wrists. From here to here, you can add the squat with the motion, squat, and now you're really getting more power. And then finally, with your hands together, like you're just trying to just squeeze this thing in. What's gonna happen is you're gonna fire all these muscles in your chest. From here, elbows in, squeezing like you're trying to pop this thing. You won't, but as hard as you can, squat up and down. Do that 10, 15 times, or better yet, do it for 30 seconds, rest, and then 30 seconds. Let me grab the next one because I want to go a little bit shorter. Talk about Thor's hammer. Man, who knows what Thor's hammer really is, right? Thor's a mythological creature or person or God, whatever it is. He's an Avenger. We all know Mjolnir, he's got that big old hammer. He just bashes things with him. No one can lift it up because you have to have whatever his virtue is to be able to lift it. Using this sledgehammer cut off and that's 10 pounds, 10 pounds on this one. I can now start to build wicked strong grip power in my wrists. I'm gonna do some small ones, I'm gonna do some big ones because I wanna keep my heart rate up. I want it to make me sweat. I wanna get a full body workout, especially engage the core. Because what good is good strong, hard power grip if you're weak everywhere else? If you don't have strong shoulders and elbows and your core isn't stronger than the other person that you're defending against or fighting against, whether it's a grappling match or an MMA match or street fight self-defense, if you can be stronger all the way through. I'm not talking about like gym strong where you're doing the, the bench press. That's okay, that's good. But that's not anywhere near as good as these functional exercises that make you strong. All right, so the first one, this levered weight, there's the weight, there's the lever. And remember I said, you can do it with a stick, tie some rocks to the end, tie some water bottles filled with sand or water, or whatever you can find that's heavy, just add to them. You can do those exercise. Yes, Mjolnir. I also put a link below where you can get your own Mjolnir, uh, Thor's hammer. Straighten the elbow if you can. If not, it's okay to bring it in a little bit as you're getting started, as you're warming up. Or change the length of the lever. Bring your hand here and then go out. From here, you're just gonna go straight down and up down and up. Can you picture what's happening? You're reaching in and you're doing jujitsu, right? BJJ, and you grab that guy and he's wearing, you're doing the uniform, with the uniform, you're wearing the, and you get it real tight and twist, or judo, and you're getting ready to throw him across the room. This motion here, or maybe like me, you like to do a lot of weapons. This uh, will help a lot with your sword, or your staff, or your nunchucks. So this is the first one. I'm gonna switch hands just because I've been burning myself out here. Now I'm here, I'm gonna to go to the side. In this hand, I've got a little bit of an injury there, so I'm gonna choke up, shorten your lever, and listen to your body. If you know something's gonna get injured, don't break it just to break it. Use some common sense, live the train another day. Go to the side, up, and then the other side. Now I'm just doing the same lever, but I'm turning from one side to the other. One side, and again, I want 30 seconds. I want 30 seconds doing this, and I want 30 seconds here, with 30 seconds of rest in between, or whatever you need. You can go longer, you can go shorter, but start this way. Really start to build a powerful grip for uh, your martial arts, whether it's striking, doesn't matter, grappling. All right, so we did forward, we did side, and side. Now, and I'm gonna choke up a little bit, and I want you to at first, until you get a feel for it, you're gonna just spin it all the way around, slowly, super duper slow, slow as you can. And look, if all you have is this big guy, and look at that, they kinda look the same, but 
I think you can see <laughs> this is bigger. That's either 12 and they're so rusty. It doesn't say how much they weigh anymore. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that one's 10 pounds and this is at least 12. You can do all these same motions with your big Thor's hammer. I put a link below if you want to get a Thor's hammer from Amazon. Prime shipping, they'll even ship it to you. A big heavy hammer. Or run to Lowe's, Home Depot, Ace Hardware, Walmart, whatever you have near you. Pulling it in and back slowly. Helicopter, making a slow, easy circle. It's okay if the elbow bends just a little bit, but not too much. And again, you want to do it on each hand for about 30 seconds. Now, we're going to pick it up a little bit, and I'm going to finish soon. soon. From here, I'm going to cast it like I do with my Indian clubs, and I do this mill. So I bring it here, and your thumb has to go to the side. It's like you're hitching a ride. Your uh, forearm is perpendicular to the ground like a tree growing straight up or a pole. That's the first motion. To warm up, you can bring it out and in, out and in. When you're ready to go through the full range, open the elbow. That's gonna put the levered weight, the weight behind your head, your hands holding the lever. From here, cast. Cast, cast means to throw, right? Throw away, cast a fishing line. Think about casting your hammer. Think about your Thor and you're in the battle with the Thanos guy. I love that movie, by the way. I, I haven't seen a lot of them when I was younger, but the kids like them now because they're getting old enough to watch them, kind of. And so when no one else is at home, we watch these Thor movies, and he's fighting against the Thanos guy, and he throws the hammer. That's what you're doing. You're casting the hammer. Comes here, open the elbow, cast. Here, elbow, cast. And don't say, you don't have a sledgehammer or a Thor's hammer, you can't start again. And I know I'm beating this dead horse, right? Beating it with my lever. But I want you to know, you have everything you need now to get started now. Don't wait until later, until the perfect time. You've got the perfect thing. You have to buy the replica of the big gigantic Thor's hammer and put on your Lululemon and your V-neck and your spandex pants so that you can look like an Instagram fitness influencer or something. And you know, I'm mostly joking, right? Mostly. Get a stick, tie some weights to the end, tape them on, and now you have your lever, your helicopters. You can even do the, this one, right? All right, so back to the windmill, or the mill. Mill as in grinding. From here, elbow, cast. One, two, three. You might say, but what if I hit the back of my head? I've never done it. I didn't at the beginning. I don't think, I think you can do anything. I'm not gonna say I don't think you can. I don't think it's very likely. I think it's possible, but not likely. But if that's a real concern, slow down or put on a helmet. You can put on a helmet. I've got a helmet for sale. I'll sell you my old army helmet. I don't think they use that kind of now anyway. Kevlar, I'll sell you my Kevlar. From here to here to here. I'm not using it. It weighs probably as much as this hammer, by the way. From here to here to here. Now, uh, do the same thing on the other side, casting. Then, see where I'm, I'm bringing it and it goes behind my back, right? From here, behind my back. Now, I want it to be a bigger motion. I'm going to cast here. And when I turn, I'm gonna turn my whole body. I'm gonna push here to here. So it's the same motion, but I'm just taking a bigger turn with my body, and now I'm engaging the core. I'm getting stronger and stronger. Now think about not just your grip strength, think about when you go to smash somebody for self-defense, street fight self-defense, with that punch, or you're grappling, and you go to pick someone and toss them, or they try to get you in the arm bar, and they can't because your grip is too strong. They can't do that. And I know if they really, you know, if they're a black, uh, BJJ black belt and you're a blue belt or purple belt, it's probably gonna happen. I don't care how strong your grip is. 
But if it's you and you're a purple belt and the other guy's a purple belt, you're both white belts, you're both getting started, and your hands are wicked strong, they're not taking you out. They're not opening your hand unless you want them to. One more. One or two, we'll see. All right, now you have the small one. I want you to bring it up with two hands to here and do another set of those squats because now you're getting warmed up. And then the other side, and I want you to learn how to move and flow with all of these exercises. So I want you to get really good at bringing it up, changing hands, bringing it up, changing hands, bring it up, change hands. So you're here. And obviously if you're doing it inside, you don't want to smash it on the floor. If it's in the kitchen, it's tile or something like that. Use common sense is my point. From here, bring it around your head and down. Bring it back, bring it around your head and down. Bring it back. I'm just bringing it up and as I bring it up, I'm allowing my elbow to bend and I'm swinging it behind my back. Then I bring it straight through the middle from here to here. Before I go to the other side, I'm gonna change, bring it around here, change, bring it down here, start to add a little squat, bring it around here. And all of this dynamic moving is what's building the power in those wrists. Now, these are just a few of the things you can do with this Thor's hammer. You can start to do your figure eights, but use your common sense. Don't do a lot of weight on a small set of muscles unless your hands are really strong. Really work up to it. Start here if you have to. That's taking almost all of the leverage away, and now you're just using the weight. Now I'm just doing 10 pounds. 10 pounds here, 10 pounds here, circle. And then next week, after you've done this for a while, and you were a little tired, a little sore, it got better, go down a little bit. Until, I don't know what happened to my uh, 10 pound, I have to work back up to 12. Before I was able to drop this, it's like a, a test, right? You drop it to your nose without smashing your face and back up. I wouldn't even try right now. I'm overtired, overworked, and it's too heavy. But eventually, from this position, you should be able to bring it down to your face and back. And that's a great test of that strength of the forearm, but then also the wrist, the hand, and that grip strength. It's all about grip strength. Fighting martial arts, easy grip strength training for martial arts allows you to break through stuff. If you're traditional style like mine, you break rock still or you break concrete or you like smash the top off the beer bottle or whatever. All that requires not just a strong hand and a conditioned hand and all those bones, but the wrist has to be very, very strong. And I, when I start doing this training, I start losing um, my watch band starts getting too small. I get almost all the way to the end. And, but, and, but the best thing ever, roll up those uh, magazines, roll up newspapers. You want some really strong grips, do that as your warm up, and then go, go into this training. Let me know in the comment section what else you wanna work on. Check out the link if you need to get your own sledgehammer, Thor's hammer. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.